Never mind elder statesman. He was America's eldest statesman. I don't believe that you can conduct serious foreign policy today. Henry Kissinger. Without moral concern for the people. Revered, reviled. A diplomatic genius for many, a war criminal for some. There is no questioning his controversies, but no question either that his impact on geopolitics, his legacy, was huge. He molded American influence over decades. Here, just four months ago, in Beijing, proof of his relevance, his engagement, until the very end. The most immediate challenge... The gravelly voice was his trademark. In the national security... The accent, a reflection of his journey from Germany. Born a hundred years ago in Bavaria, into an orthodox Jewish family, it would force his escape 15 years later as a refugee escaping the Nazis. New York became his home, and America as an idea, as a dream, well, that was something he would foster and mould as he rose through Harvard to be his adopted nation's top diplomat. There is no other country in the world in which a man of my background could be even considered for an office such as the one to which I have been nominated. That office was Secretary of State. It was 1973, and Richard Nixon had chosen Kissinger. I know all of you will want to hear from the new Secretary of State. It was a secret mission to China a couple of years earlier, which would be his lasting legacy. It was from that trip that American diplomatic relations with China came, a huge achievement. There was detente with the Soviet Union, and in the Middle East, it was his shuttle diplomacy which forged the early attempts at coexistence. They are all challenges which have lingered through presidencies over decades. And so he has been behind every president, a voice of experience they all seem to value. In his many books, he defended his reshaping of American foreign policy, and he dismissed the war criminal tag. The allegations were that he supported atrocities by America's allies. In so many ways, Kissinger's story is a reflection of America, the foreign refugee who became Secretary of State, the diplomat who moulded the world to America's advantage. It was a time when American influence was truly dominant. Diplomacy, he said, is about balances. If you don't know where you're going, every road will get you nowhere.